Ahoy, matey. <laughs> Hello there. It's your girl, Stace of the Plate, and we are going to be talking about On the Horizon. What do you think? Are you feeling a nautical vibe? I'm feeling a nautical vibe here. Um, so On the Horizon is Watery Bergamot, Blue Lotus, and Driftwood Moss. What do you think? Do you like moss? Do you like moss? She's like, girl, I I'll like whatever it takes for you to hold me. This, this child is a mess. Um, okay, so this one, it, it was kind of tough at first. It was kind of tough, you guys, because I was thinking, I was like, hmm, could it possibly be Joe Malone Wood, oops, sorry, Wood Sage and Sea Salt, which I have here, dun, 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 in a little sample, um, but it's not. This one, the sage and the woodyness of it all, like, it, it just sticks out far more than I anticipated. Um, also, wow, Winnie. Also, um, I was thinking, like, could it be Aqua de Gio um, or Aqua de Gioia? Um, nah, they like the. It just it has a little extra twine to it. It's a little something something extra in it, and it just did not come off smelling like on the horizon for me. On the horizon, it's kind of similar to dare I say deep blue sea like it just smells like we are out and about living our best blue nautical life out there on somebody's yacht or somebody's sailboat and like you're not even in like the deep blue sea like it's it doesn't smell salty per se but it just smells like water it just smells like water so then I was playing around some more and I found Two, I know comparison is the thief of joy, but we we gotta we gotta give some comparisons to help out. So the two that I feel like are the closest is the ocean de Georgia and this on oh my old frag heads so we'll hopefully remember this one, but this one is blue. Um it's Kindle by KKW. Um this one. These two to me out of my perfume collection smell the most similar to on the horizon they just they smell just like pure just water like they just smell like the ocean not the beach not oceanfront property just straight up aquatic ocean that's that's the vibe like these three very very similar this one's a little bit more perfume it's got a little little something something extra but if I had to narrow it down, I, I'm going to go with these two. I'm going I'm to say it's a dupe for this one. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. It's a dupe. It's a dupe. Um, so, so with that, I know it seems like super, super simple and easy to just be like, oh, it's an aquatic scent. Um, this one is also very unisex. I would say like it's, it's not going to be offensive to people. It's just purely a nice aquatic scent. Um, and it'll be great for the summer too if you don't want to like smell like too much and you really enjoy that like fresh clean watery kind of vibe and scent this one easy hands down now some little comparisons just in case you have these in your arsenal um so cell ocean this one is sold at urban outfitters and is also sold at tj maxx and marshall's for the low low i'm trying to see yeah i got this one for 14.99 so it's this one's similar but it's a little bit more perfumey and it's a it has that saltiness like in a beachy type of scent versus this one's a little bit more aquatic but still nice they're still they're cousins they they could be at the cookout together it's just this one she's gonna be a little bit more dressed up when she rolls up to the cookout now now i have like all of these bath and body works myths that I think people may, you know, wonder, because I was wondering, I was like, hmm, will they be similar? Will they not? Um, unfortunately, none of these come close to this one. <laughs> I said it, oh, they're going to be so mad, Woody, they're going to be so mad. Okay, fresh getaway, I immediately thought of this one, but the citrus, so this one has bright yuzu citrus and fresh ocean air. The citrus is, is mm -mm. The, no. No, no, the, the, these two could not be confused together. Um, I hate to say that this one smells more plain, so I'm just gonna say this one smells more aquatic, 
But when you hear me say that this one smells more aquatic, just, just know that off the record, I'm saying that it smells more plain. Okay, so, <laughs> summertime surf. I thought maybe this one, this one has vanilla breeze, sea salt sands, and sunny coconut. But the coconut, no. the, the coconut is like, absolutely not absolutely not the coconut is so forward in that way like there's no way <laughs> you can't even compare um, next up i was like endless weekend you know you know um so this one is summer mandarin blue coconut water and vanilla sandalwood this one i feel like is a little bit closer than the summertime surf but it's still it's still far off that vanilla, it just, it makes it smell sweet. And this one smells more aquatic. <laughs> it smells more aquatic than that one. <laughs> All right. And then saltwater breeze. Saltwater breeze. I was like, mm, okay, maybe. This is fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. I, I had my hopes up for this one. I was like, yeah, yeah, I think they could be. But no, no. That cleanliness from that linen mixed with the violet leaf, it tells on itself every time. This one is more aquatic than this one. <laughs> I feel like everyone's gonna remember me, but like she said, it's more aquatic, AKA it's more plain. But I mean, people love plain scents. Okay, so this one is Sea Isla Shore. Um, it, it is a clean cotton, orange blossom, blue freesia, and ocean musk. You already know what I'm going to say. You already know. I'm just going to spray it in here. So this one, okay, I will, this one's still more aquatic, <laughs> but I feel like this one's a little bit closer, but it, it, it still has that clean, that cotton, that fresh scent, whereas this one, It's just, it's aquatic. Like, it just smells like clean water. It, it's just clean water, baby. Again, it's watery bergamot, blue lotus, and driftwood moss. It just, it smells like clean water versus this one. There's the cotton, there's the orange blossom. Like, it's, it's just stuff in it that just, it doesn't give it, it's not the same. It's just not the same. Now, I know, I know, I said that this one is very aquatic, AKA it smells more plain than the other ones, but another way that you could look at it is that it smells more clean. So I think that this one will also be a great one for people who are sometimes worried about having um, migraines and stuff, or like just having their senses set off from too much of a strong offensive, well not offensive, but like from a strong smell, I feel like it'll be safer to try this one because it's, it's not very offensive. The scent is there. It is there. There is a real aquatic scent, but it's just, it's not, I think we're just so used to smelling something that's like aquatic with a little bit of salt or with a little bit of sunshine or a little bit of musk or a little bit of orange blossom just to give it a little something extra. We aren't necessarily used to having something that just smells like water i know and then you're like does water even really have a smell but it does and that's why you need to smell this but it smells really nice i feel like it smells nice it smells pleasant it's just it's a nice clean easy breezy smell um and it's not clean in the sense of like laundry or harvest linen or anything like that that's like or laundry day like it's not like that where it's clean but it's super overpowering like could possibly send your nose hairs clean like fresh sheets and stuff like that it's just it's a nice inoffensive aquatic scent that i mean i don't i don't know what more to say it's on the horizon <laughs> but, but anyhow with that thank you so much for hanging out please take a half second to subscribe below so you can catch the next vibe of the next mist that we are going to go over. Thank you so much for hanging out and I hope that this helped you, help push you to pick up this beautiful aquatic scent and we will catch you in the next video. <laughs> Bye!